Hi everybody, it's Steph here again and today ladies and gentlemen um, what we're going to be showing you is this absolutely beautiful beautiful swan well this is a vintage swan um, leaverless pen and it's made by the company um, in England that was um, by the name of Maybe Todd and Company and as I say, this is actually a leaverless pen, which means what we actually do is turn this um, filling knob to the end of the barrel, which we'll show you in a moment. Um, but before we show you that, the pen size-wise, from the top of the cap here to the bottom of the barrel, um, measures approximately 136 uh, millimeters capped. And at the widest point of the barrel, uh, the diameter is approximately um, 11 millimeters in diameter. Now, um, this particular model, if we show you to the um, to the bottom of the to the barrel, and I'm hoping you can actually see that, ladies and gentlemen. We'll try and keep it nice and still for you. What you'll actually see on the bottom there, it actually tells us that this model um, is the L. 205-60. Now the L I believe stands for the fact that this particular pen is a leaverless fountain pen. The number two in the first um, in the first digit indicates that it has a swan number two nib which we'll show you in a moment. The zero and the five um, I believe indicates to us that it has this single uh, gold filled cap band here um, and the 60 after the dash um, tells us that this particular pen um, is made from black chased hard rubber okay so that is the well as, as far as I understand it the model number L205-60 actually indicates to us um, as I say, it's in this beautiful black hard rubber, chased. Um, I've actually fully restored this pen. The pen came to me in a little bit of a sorry state. The very top of the cap here and the bottom of the barrel, the, uh, the turning filling knob, um, have a tendency to actually discolour. And they, they're actually, when you sometimes get them, you get them in this quite olive colour. Now what I've actually done, I've, I've been able to... Um, to polish most of that um, oxidization out and as you can see now um, they are lovely lovely and black now this particular pen you'll notice has this um, swan ball clip and if I show you to the top there and I'm hoping you can see that um, you'll see to the top there it has the name swan okay what it also has, um, I'm hoping you can actually see that there, um, to the top of the cap there, although it's a little bit faded just to the swan's head, it has this um, white little um, picture, if you like, of a swan to the, top of the, to the top of the cap there. As I say, it's black chased, although the chasing on the cap is actually a little bit stronger than the barrel. Um, what you'll also notice on the cap there, it has the word swan. Okay, so the imprint to the barrel, sorry, to the cap is nice and clear. It's telling us it's a swan. Um, if we go to the imprint on the barrel, um, you'll also see that that's nice and clear as well. And what it's actually telling us, it's telling us that this is a swan um, leaverless pen. Um, and then underneath that, it has the patent number of 390585-32. Uh, Underneath that it has the, uh, the maker or the company which is maybe Todd and Company. And then just underneath that you can see just underneath it has made in England. Okay so you can see that the, uh, the barrel imprint is nice and clear. Okay, um, as I said, this is a vintage um, Swan leaverless pen. Now, if we actually take off the cap to the top, which is a screw-on cap, and if we just show you the pen 
and the cap together there you can see in beautiful condition and what you'll notice here ladies and gentlemen it has this lovely black um, section here again this was actually oxidized and slightly discolored and again I've managed to uh, to get some of that discoloring out and it's it's nice and black now and as I said before what you'll notice that this particular pen again if we can keep it still for you and get you the best the best image it tells us that it's actually a swan number two uh, 14 karat gold nib and to the bottom it tells us again that it's made by the company maybe Todd and Company okay you can also see there hopefully it has this lovely um, heart shaped breather hole and if I turn the the pen over there you can see that the um, the feed to the bottom there has been cleaned and it's actually if I show you as well it should actually show us that it has the word um, swan to the feed underneath there and as you can see that's also been uh, cleaned and in the pen is in lovely lovely condition ladies and gentlemen there's a sideway, sideways view of the pen okay so the pen has been fully restored it's in absolutely beautiful condition um, okay let's uh, let's have a write with the pen now if we just bring on the the pad here and if we actually just bring on the ink to the side here incidentally um, for them people that don't actually know or are not aware to fill this pen what we actually do we turn this filling knob to the end of the barrel here now what happens is when we unscrew this filling knob like so um, there's actually a bar connected to this filling knob inside runs about three quarters of the length of the barrel and as you turn this filling knob the bar which is slightly angled actually turns and grips the sack inside and in effect it screws the the sack a little bit and then once you tighten it up it comes back again and the sack opens up to its original shape again and at that point it takes in the ink into the sack so there's, there's a bar inside which, as we turn this, turns the bar, grips the, uh, the sack inside, slightly twists it or crunches it up, and then once you turn it back again, the bar uh, goes back into place again, the sack un un unfurls, if you like, and at that point, again, as I said, it fills up with the ink. And all we need to do is uh, present the the nib if you like into the ink you can't sit you can just sit me off camera and what we do we just at this point turn this particular knob at the top here give it a couple of seconds turn it back home again give it a couple of seconds and I don't know if you can actually see that at home but um, there was plenty of little bubbles in the in the ink there so it looks to be in working order incidentally this is the first time I've actually inked the pen since I've restored it so what we do at this point we keep our fingers crossed so what we have here is a swan leverless pen okay in actual fact ladies and gentlemen it writes very nice it's a lovely smooth writer if we give you the figure of eights here and we give you the downstrokes. Incidentally, there's a little bit of flex to this as well. If I put a little bit of pressure on, you can actually see that we've got a nice thick line there. Now, if I come across without any pressure, you can see we've got fine lines here. So if I try and do the figure of eights and put a little bit of pressure on the downward stroke. So what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a lovely, as I say, a number two flexi flexi nib on the downward stroke we've got a nice thick line and if we come across like so as I say on the on the downward stroke it's a lovely thick line on the cross stroke 
um, we have a fine line there. So what you have is a Swan number two um, nib with a lovely flex. And the main thing, ladies and gentlemen, um, it writes lovely, lovely and smoothly. It's a lovely writer. So if we present the cap back to the pen, ladies and gentlemen, and there we have it. This is a beautiful Swan Leverless Fountain Pen, um, as I say, made by um, Maybe Todd and Company Limited in London. Uh, it comes with a single gold filled band here. It's got this lovely gold filled Swan clip with the, the name Swan to the top. It has a Swan logo to the top of the cap there. And as we showed you before, to the bottom of the barrel it's it has a model number which tells us it's an L205-60 so made of chased brown sorry black hard rubber so there we have it ladies and gentlemen an absolutely beautiful example of this vintage pen lovely writer nice and smooth so I hope you've enjoyed um, well, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video as much as I've enjoyed showing you this pen. As I said before on my other videos, there's plenty more videos on YouTube. Don't be shy. There's a lot of people are watching, but a lot of people are very shy. Uh, they, don't, they don't leave any messages or suggestions or comments. So don't be shy. Go over, have a look at the videos and leave a comment. And uh, till next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll just simply say bye now.